Hello, everyone. My name is Svetok, and today I'll be talking about BeamQuest, which is a skill badge offered by Google Cloud uh, in, and certifying uh, that you are proficient in Apache Beam. So before we begin, uh, let's sort of recap. So now that you have a fairly broad overview of the various concepts in Apache Beam, uh, let's apply them to actually writing some pipelines. So for the majority of this presentation, I'm going to walk you through the lab setup. And so these labs are what uh, eventually add up to be this Beam Quest, uh, and as well as core concepts uh, that each of these labs emphasize. And always remember that if at any point you get stuck during these labs, uh, you can always refer to these solutions that we have. So a little bit about Beam Quest. So it's essentially a series of five labs uh, that test various Apache Beam concepts. And upon completion, uh, you'll be granted a shareable skill badge uh, by Google Cloud that you can share and post to your social media. Uh, so for example, one thing you can do is you can you know, just share it to your LinkedIn profile to share with your colleagues that you are now certified and proficient in Apache Beam. Uh, this could also be useful for signaling to future employers that you have proficiency in Beam. Uh, and right now the quest is currently free of charge. Uh, and you will be granted credentials to a Google Cloud uh, console during this lab. So you can actually run your Apache Beam pipelines on Google Cloud's Dataflow runner uh, and see how, how that works. And so now to talk about the labs, um, there are five labs. And in this presentation, I will focus on the first two of these labs. And in part two uh, of this presentation, I'll delve into the remaining three labs. And so the first thing I want to do is we'll dive into the first lab, which is uh, writing an ETL pipeline with Apache Beam and Cloud Dataflow. Uh, but before I jump in, I, I first want to show you how you can access these labs uh, and sort of get set up. So the first thing uh, you should do is you could Google uh, Apache Beam Quest uh, on Google search. And you'll see here uh, when you're on Google search uh, that you'll see a blog post on Beam uh, that talks about this open source credential uh, with completion badge. And if you scroll to the bottom, uh, you can see here that you can attain your badge for free and you can use this access code. So just click on this access code and it may take a second to load. Uh, and yes, you, it'll probably take you to a page that looks like this, a Google Cloud Skill Boost page. And so uh, the first thing you can do is you can type in Apache Beam in the search bar and you can hit getting started with Apache Beam. Uh, and then you can click on getting started with Apache Beam here. And so uh, probably if you're not already logged in, uh, your page will look more similar to this uh, where you'll, you'll, you'll essentially, you can do the same thing. So you can, you can go back and you can, uh, Essentially, you can join uh, if you don't already have uh, the credentials uh, for a Google Cloud Skill Boost account. Uh, or if you do, you can just directly sign in. And so in this case, I already have those set up. So I'm just going to sign in with Google. Uh, and if it takes you sort of to a generic page, uh, once you're signed in, if you find, uh, if you searched the getting started with Apache Beam again, uh, it should take you uh, to the logged in version. Um, so I will navigate now to uh, getting started with Apache Beam. So I think if I click on Explore here, uh, it'll take me back to that page. And I can just type in getting started with Apache Beam. And so now I'm logged in. So your page should look like this. Uh, It'll look a little different because I've already finished the completion badge, but you should see these labs uh, already. And so let's dive in. Let's let's take a look at this first one. So writing an ETL pipeline using Apache Beam and Cloud Dataflow. So uh, when we uh, click on the lab, you'll see a page like this. Uh, you'll see a start lab with the time of 90 minutes or one hour, 30 minutes, uh, and then some instructions. And so the thing you'll want to do is essentially you'll first want to start your lab. And uh, you, you because you've used the access code, you will have credits available. So you can launch actually with the credits. Uh, and then it'll generate a username, a password, uh, project ID, and an ID URL. 
And so you can click on open this Google Cloud Console, uh, which you'll see here. That'll open a tab like this. And then you can actually copy the username that they've given you. And you can also copy the password that they've given you. And this will log you into your instance, your, your Quick Labs instance, which is hosted on Google Cloud. And this will take you to a Google Cloud console page, essentially, uh, where you can do everything necessary in your lab. Um, and so if I go back to sort of what this, uh, this, this lab looks like, uh, you can see here, um, we have some instructions. So in the beginning, uh, there's gonna be some commands to make sure that we have the right access permissions. Uh, we'll, we'll need to set our project to the correct project if it's not already set. Uh, and then also we'll have to ensure that we have these right, uh, basically service account permissions, which will ensure that we can do the operations necessary, that we have permission to do these operations necessary throughout the lab. Uh, and then we'll have this IDE URL, which we'll actually be doing our development in. And so you can copy and paste that into your browser, uh, but do note that sometimes it takes a few minutes to load. Uh, and so sometimes it takes a couple of minutes uh, before it's fully loaded, but then uh, that's actually where you'll be doing your pipeline writing. Uh, and you can see sort of on these UI images that uh, you'll, you'll see something very similar to this where you'll actually be doing uh, the development. Uh, and so now for actually what this lab uh, covers. So, uh, the first part of this lab is essentially going to talk about writing a pipeline in Java. So we're going to do things uh, starting with gener generating synthetic data uh, and then reading from a source uh, and then adding a transformation and then writing to a sync. So essentially all our sort of steps in an end-to-end -end pipeline. The second thing we'll do is essentially create a user-defined function and we'll write that. And we're actually going to run this via a data flow template. Uh, and so that's a little bit about the first lab. Um, you'll see sort of throughout that there will be uh, kind of images and uh, text explaining uh, these various concepts. Uh, and you'll see some commands that actually ensure that you're writing your code in the right place. Uh, so making sure that you're in the right directory uh, and things of that nature. And then it'll walk you step by step on actually, you know, doing things like generating the synthetic data uh, and et cetera, reading your data from source, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, now we can talk a little bit about the second lab. Uh, so the second lab is essentially gonna be uh, advanced streaming analytics pipeline uh, with uh, running it on cloud data flow. Uh, so this is gonna uh, delve a little deeper into the more advanced concepts. Uh, so things that we're gonna be doing here, for example, techniques to handle late data. So uh, setting the allowed lateness uh, and then also setting a trigger uh, and then uh, secondly, we'll be dealing with malformed data. So for example, how we can modularize our pipeline code uh, to best suit this, and then also writing uh, our malformed data for analysis. Uh, and so this will be pretty analogous to like dead letter uh, analysis. Uh, and so that's, our, our second lab is gonna be very similar to the first one where we're gonna essentially be uh, writing um, a, our code in the same sort of way. So we'll, we'll open the same kind of ID, ID URL. And uh, it'll be very similar in the sense that uh, this is the lab and it'll have very clear instructions on what, what to do uh, essentially and where to sort of write this code. Um, so that's it for these first two labs. Um, and then uh, join us in the next session where we'll talk about the remaining three labs in this quest.